What is up, YouTube? Let me zoom this out. Oh, been on a bit of a hiatus. I'm fucking working, man. Got to pay for this shit somehow. But anyway, um, still got the KLX. Still got the Zuma. She's a bit rough, boys. And maybe there's a girl subscribed. Who knows? Um, yeah, doing too many wheelies. Fucking scrape the plate pretty good. You could tell. Fuck the pipe. The good old molassy pipe. Um, yeah, I figured I'd make a vid today just to fucking kind of give you guys an update. I don't want to leave you high and dry. Still got the truck. Still got the Lancer. And we got this fucking beauty. Um, for those who haven't seen it, I don't know if you've seen the video. I think it's like labeled sketchy mud tractor build. You can go back and check on how I fabricated the frame. So essentially there's a DVX 400 frame that's mounted very securely under there. Um, you can see the AR mounts just poking out right there. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm balls deep in this fucking thing at this moment. I'm designing a jack shaft to get this fucking motor wedged in there. So this is a 2000 CBR 600 F4 engine. Um, it's all there. I'm missing a fuel pump relay, clutch cable, and a throttle cable to get it running. Um, otherwise, just been fucking working away, man. Uh, got a control panel made up. Um, just collecting parts at the moment. Uh, here's my fucking... Uh, brake lever that I'm gonna have to mod to make a make into a foot lever. But you guys like mods, right? Um, these are the pillow blocks that hold the bearings that are gonna hold my jack shaft uh, in between the engine and the fucking rear end. And one's missing, so that's not. Good. Oh, it's over there. So yeah, I got my buddy, uh, Mr. Willoughby, um, getting me a one inch drive shaft. We're gonna cut down to be 18 inches long. And it's gonna be mounted with those pillow blocks. Hold on, fuck. I wasn't prepared, boys. I'll grab one that already has a bearing pressed in it. All right. So just your standard pillow block, greaseable bearing, whatever. There's uh, collars that go on the raised end side. Um, what I plan on doing is running these, something like that. You know what I mean? On either end, jack shaft, obviously running through it and uh, that'll get my chain to the jack shaft obviously I got to extend the chain and then throw another sprocket on it and send it into the engine bay which is actually quite large I actually have about a half inch to spare widthwise and then lengthwise there's plenty of room. Essentially, it's gonna be like, center mass should be almost at this bar. So, shouldn't have too much weight hanging over the front axle, or lack thereof. Um, I'm pretty much gonna leave the steering as is. It's pretty much like the quickest turning radius you're gonna get anyway. And, uh, I'm just not getting into fucking tie rods and fucking steering fucking shafts and all that shit. It's a bunch of horse shit. Um, keeping the brake pedal and the gas pedal where they are. 
I'm gonna throw the I'm gonna throw a linkage to the shifter on a handle here with a clutch so you just you know well it'll be one back and then the rest are gonna be forward um yeah I mean I was gonna use that fucking Yamaha rear end but I mean I already had the frame for the DVX and that's a Raptor rear end so it all just fit well it's kind of heavy but I mean it'll do all right paddle tires I got fronts too but I mean I'm not getting into switching spindles and shit like that um I'm probably gonna put the rears the, the original re, uh, tractor tires on the rear uh, or on the front but otherwise nearly there boys just gotta do a bit more fabrication and get this thing fired up I mean like it turns over the valves seem to be in spec I don't have a feeler gauge but I mean I mean it hasn't dropped one yet so um yeah it's 115 horse so and that little thing should be a fucking snot rocket and yeah the way i designed it i guess i haven't really talked about the frame at all but it still has full travel boys we're still fucking hitting jumps you know it should be able to do some pretty cool wheelies i might put a fucking I don't know. The engine sits about 30 inches tall with the airbox. So I'm going to have to do some airbox modifications because 30 inches puts me past fucking steering wheel, which is fine. Like you can still see over it, but uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. But yeah, I used to mow the lawn with this old girl. Now she's got a second life. Should be pretty cool, man. But yeah, there's your fucking seven minutes to fill your boredom. I don't really got anything else for you. I'm tired as fuck. Everything's running. I got the jet kit for the race pipe. Just because I had, like when I was tuning this thing and I originally wanted low end torque. I still want low end torque, but I think that pipe can do better than it was with some proper jetting. Um, that pipe worked great as it was with like up to 100 jet, but now that it has all the other supporting mods, if I throw that pipe back on it, it's gonna want more fuel. So I got a like 100 plus jet kit. I think it goes 100 to 110 or something. Yeah, 100 to 122. So I should be able to get the right jet out of that. Um, yeah, just been drinking beers and passing queers. You know the deal. But apparently there's somebody in the area getting one of these. So you might see two 300 hours. You never know. But yeah, that's it for today, boys. Take her ease.